Hello, hello! Today I am making a video on the special expedition. Uh, I'm not addressing the five ones below, but I'm mostly focusing on the this one. Uh, I believe the unit here is Sh Shureklia or something like that. Light Shureklia. Uh, essentially, you get 50 entries to this expedition. Uh, however, the rewards are not too big. Uh, as a, of course, uh, the only guaranteed reward from the dungeon is the gold, and all of the other rewards from each level only have a small chance to drop. So, level 2 adds runes, I believe. Level 3 adds these transcendence pieces, and level 4 adds uh, the full skill points. So, uh, basically, uh, this video is done for you to understand if uh, the dungeon is worth your time, since compared to the rest of the content, it does take a little bit of time uh, to clear the 50 wings if you do not have a specific team for it. So, if you do not have, for example, a buff blocker or a stripper, stripper uh, this dungeon could take uh, around 50 seconds on average to complete. Uh, for me, for example, level 1 and 2 take around 40 seconds, and level 3 takes a little longer, so like 1 minute 30, but I never built a specific team for it, so uh, once you build that, it should be way faster. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you do not have a specific team build for it, I'm mostly making a video for you, since uh, the runs will take a little long, and even on level 1, it may take around an hour to clear all 50 wings. So essentially, I'm gonna be summarizing the reward you get uh, from this dungeon, and you can decide based on those rewards whether it is worth uh, farming the dungeon for you. So uh, over the three days, I've done 50 runs on both level 1, level 2, and level 3, uh, and I've written down all of the rewards that I got, uh, and essentially I'm gonna be putting them on screen as well as talking about them real quickly. So, for level 1, uh, of course, I'm gonna be showing the total gold amount, as well as how many of all of these drops I got for each level. So, for level 1, I actually got 27,895 gold. Uh, so, gold will not vary that much, since uh, the, the differences here are very small, so like 562 in level 1. 574 and 582. I haven't done this one, but the difference here is also very really small. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I got 27,895 gold from level 1. I have received 9 log pieces, so that's almost 2 full skill points. Uh, I have received 0 legendary magic cores, uh, and I have received 1 epic uh, powerful magic core. And yeah, uh, since these are all of the rewards, uh, the other ones will have a little more. So it seems like, uh, to quickly add, uh, the drop rate for each item seems to be similar between each stages. And the only thing that gets added in the latter stages is additional drop chance for other materials. So for example here, you'll get a similar drop rate to these, but also get runes on top. And for here you get also these on top. So, coming to level 2, I have received uh, a total of 28,278 gold. Uh, I have received also 9 uh, research lock pieces, so that's almost 2 full skill points per day. Uh, I have received 2 legendary magic cores, uh, as well as 2 powerful magic cores. And, on top of that, I received 2 uh, epic 5 star runes. Uh, the runes are completely random, like the set you get is completely random, as well as the substats, so it's sort of a very hard to uh, get a good rune you want, especially if you're farming one or two specific dungeons. And for example, if you are going for Rage Blade, you might get like a guard rune or something, and that just might not make a useful set for you. And yeah, jumping to level 3, uh, so the goal here I got was 28,000. I do not have the exact number of gold because uh, at the moment of farming I had like uh, over a million gold and it didn't show me the exact exact amount but 
I calculated the difference before the 50 runs and after, and it was around 28,000 gold, so very similar to the previous runs. Uh, I have received eight uh, research lock pieces, so one less, but that could be due to RNG, so it should be aimed at around eight to nine for all three levels. Uh, I have received uh, one legendary magic core. Uh, I got uh, two powerful magic cores like the last level. Uh, this time I actually got five unknown runes, so uh, basing off the level 2 and level 3, we're looking at around 3 to 4 uh, runes on average. And uh, I actually got a total of four of these pieces. Uh, not separately four, but I believe I got two of the red ones and two of the purple ones. So yeah, uh, hopefully this helps you better understand whether this dungeon is worth your time. Since I know that on some days I definitely uh, was a little overwhelmed with a lot of stuff to do in the game and simply did not have uh, the time to do all of those dungeons so yeah uh hopefully this brings some clarity you can also based on the rewards uh decide whether the higher levels are worth doing for you so for example even though i can do level three uh consistently i still go for level two since i'm mostly focusing on the research lock pieces uh, since the level one and level two take around the same time for me to do while level three takes me around twice as much uh, of course, that might be lowered when I improve my team, but for now, uh, level 2 seems like a better option, and I can clear that in around an hour, while level 3 would take 2 hours, and I simply sometimes don't have that much time uh, to spare on the game. And yeah, uh, based on these, you can compare whether the dungeon is worth doing at all, or which level is worth doing more for you. In my opinion, these uh, research log pieces are the main reward here, so even doing level 1 is sufficient enough uh, and definitely the runes definitely don't make that much impact as well as these although they are nice uh, you do not get a lot of them based on the time it takes to do the dungeon so yeah uh, hopefully this helped you a little bit and see you in the next one